Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Blader Mouse. Today we have put 30 milliliters of e-cig fluid in a sealed test tube and we are going to superheat it. This is the equivalent of what I've read of 600 normal cigarettes. The main component of e-cig fluid is propylene glycol. This is a section of the MSDS sheet for propylene glycol. Now the flash point is a temperature at and above which a liquid gives off enough flammable vapor to form a mixture with air that can be ignited by a hot surface or a flame. The auto ignition temperature is the temperature where it will spontaneously ignite into a flame. However, that is reliant on its flammable limits. It has to be in a concentration between 2.6 and 12.5 percent. And it also has to be at its auto ignition temperature when it reaches that little window of concentration. Otherwise it won't catch on fire. We'll apply a torch to the test tube. The fluid will remain a fluid because as the temperature rises the pressure inside also rises. We'll not only get the temperature well above its flash point but probably to its auto ignition point as well. Well we saw a lot of smoke but no fire. Does that mean we didn't get it to its auto ignition point? Let's see. While we heat this test tube up, it is storing a tremendous amount of energy. It's like compressing a giant spring or charging a, a battery. All that energy is building and building. And then finally, of course, the test tube can only take so much pressure and temperature and something has to give. Now the weak point is the silicone plug on top of the vial. That gives us a consistent pressure release without the glass test tube instantly exploding. Usually this gives us a chance to see what is happening as the pressure is released inside the test tube. It also keeps it a little more quiet and it also prevents it from being classified as a bomb. We don't want to get in trouble for doing this, right? Without the aid of the high-speed cameras, it's really hard to tell what's going on. It usually just looks like the test tube itself just blew up instantly. When the plug blows out, the internal pressures begin to drop and the fluid inside begins to flash into a vapor. But as you can see, there was no flame. Now we're all taught that in order to get a flame, you have to have a fuel source, and a supply of oxygen, and a heat source. But if the conditions or proportions of these three things are not ideal, you'll never get a flame. If it's too lean, if it's too concentrated, if you don't have enough heat, if you don't have air, etc., you're not going to get a flame. That's just how <laughs> flames work. So we had every all the ingredients there, but not the right concentrations. But wow, did we create a big smoke cloud. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, be sure to check out my playlist with other test tube torture tests in it. Each video is unique and has different results. And these ideas come from viewers just like you.